Well, best-selling crime fiction writer Laura Lippman's latest book is called The Most Dangerous Thing, and it's about lost innocence and childhood regrets. Lost innocence, you know, and as a new mom, something with this book changed that she didn't expect to happen. Take a look. I had this one moment of insight. You only get to write about this place once. You better wait until you're ready. So I waited until my 16th novel to write a book about this unusual neighborhood where I grew up. Laura grew up in a city neighborhood at the edge of a very vast and wild parkland. Because of the age I was, being a kid of the 70s, I had free access and I got to wander. And so that was the impetus behind the book. And then as I was finally getting ready, it's like finally I'm ready to write about this place, I, I began writing about five months before I became a mom. And I wrote the first third of the book, which is mostly about the kids in the book, because it's a book about kids and parents. And everyone said, oh, the kid will change your life, the kid will change your writing. And I wasn't seeing that. I was like, I don't know. I've always written about children as if they're people. I'm not nostalgic or sentimental about childhood. They're people. They're human. I've always tried to have empathy for everyone I write about. To me, that's the test. That's what you're supposed to be doing. And I've, you know, even if I'm writing about a sociopath, but I realized when I got to this section about the parents that there had been limits to my empathy in this one case and that I was going to write about the parents differently now than I was one. In The Most Dangerous Thing, Laura writes about five kids whose personalities she invented. But when I turn the book in and it begins with the death of one of the five characters, a kid known as Gogo, now an adult, my editor said, Oh, everyone knows a go-go. And I think everybody knows the other four kids, too. And it's that realness that's the book's power. Laura's very popular PI, Tess Monahan, makes a cameo in the book, going undercover in an unseemly way, showing how anyone can be compromised. If she is someone who, in every other way, is pretty much a mirror image of the woman who confronts her. As I go forward, the book I'm working on now is about someone who, this time, has been conceived as an archetype in that. I'm writing a book about a single mother who's approaching 40. She's nervous about her industry. She doesn't think it's going to survive some really cataclysmic changes that are related to technology. She has a very complicated relationship with the father of her son who can't contribute to her financially. She worries about money. She worries about her son. She worries about her job security. The only thing that's different is that she's a high class madam in the suburbs. I tell you what, if you read a, a men's magazine, it says the most dangerous thing <laughs> is telling a wife she does look fat in those jeans. Exactly. That's the most that dangerous. Is not That's good. not what I thought that book was going to be about. But <laughs> not okay. at all. Well, Laura's new book, The Most Dangerous Thing, is available now. We're giving away four copies just to better viewers. All you have oh, to do nice. is go to our Facebook page, like us, and then tell us why you should win. We should give you a copy. Yes, of that you book. have to like us to win. Like, <laughs> like me. Us. Please like us. <laughs> you need someone to like you. Please <laughs> like me.